hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today in this video we will create this contact form with the help of html and css so for this i have uh, ide that is vs code and i have created two files that is index.html and style.css now let's uh, start our coding first of all click on index.html and then uh, write a boilerplate i will use vs code m8 for this shift 1 and then enter so i have a boilerplate now and then I will link this CSS inside this this head tag by this way. So link CSS. Okay. Now let's add some tags inside this body. So first one is section, and inside this section, uh, add form. Okay. Now uh, let's get the reference from this one. So at the top we have sent us message. Right click copy and then. Uh, inside the h3 tag paste that okay now now we need these three input field uh, full name email address and message so write input type its text and sorry and inside uh, this input tag let's add placeholder full name asterisk and then input uh, text okay again placeholder that is email email address again uh, we have a field for message okay input type text placeholder message and then let's close this one okay now let's open this on our browser right click open with live server see we have a uh, heading this one and three fields full name email address and message uh, now uh, now we need this uh, paragraph that is tell us more about your project so let's copy this one right click copy and then uh, open paragraph tag and uh, paste between okay now let's go back to the browser and see we have this one now again we need this uh, text area field so for this now add text area okay now let's uh, add a button also that is input input btn okay now let's give a value send message and also give a id for button okay now let's go back to the browser and see we have uh, this one this one and full name email address message full name email address message this one uh, paragraph tag and then uh, text area we have a text area and also send message button here also send message button which means our html part is over now let's uh, go to the css and let's uh, put some coding on uh, this file okay now click here and then first of all reset our css asterisk padding 0 margin 0 box sizing border box and let's give a font family globally that is this one okay now let's go back to the browser see okay we have uh, reset our css successfully now uh, let's select section and give a background color that is azure and height of 100 view height and width of 100 view width okay now let's give a display that is flex and align item center and justify content center now let's uh, see output okay we have everything on the center now let's uh, edit this form so for this select a form and then give a padding of one rem and let's give a border that is 0.1 rem solid sky blue for now we will uh, uh, change this uh, color okay and now i will uh, change this uh, sky blue uh, from sky blue to light gray sorry light gray okay now let's see I think this is uh, okay now let's uh, design the uh, components inside this form so for this uh, I will select this s3 tag uh, form 
form and inside this form inside the form we have a h3 tag okay now let's uh, give a font size of uh, 1.6 rem and margin button of 1 rem okay now let's see we have did it now uh, i will give a width for a form that is width is fit content okay now uh, let's uh, design the input fields so for this i will select this one remove s3 and i will write input and let's uh, give a, a display that is a block okay now let's see okay now the display is block uh, i i want to give some uh, width now i will give a width for uh, 10 rem now let's see 10 rem uh, no uh, i will provide 15 rem 15 rem i think uh, this is okay but i want to uh, extend some more 18 rem okay now let's see our reference uh, i i think i i need to give more uh, width that is 20 rem now leave it as it is so let's design uh, the input field let's give a background color that is sky blue and then i will uh, decrease the opacity by this way now let's see okay now uh, let's add a padding of 0.4 rem uh, 0.4 rem and border radius that is 0.4 rem and then border that is non and outline also non so let's see okay now let's keep some uh, margin here uh, for margin margin uh, let's give one rem from top and bottom bottom and and zero from left and right okay now let's increase some opacity of this uh, background so i will over over here and i will increase some opacity so uh, this is okay now i can write here also okay now let's uh, design uh, this text area field so for this write form and text area and let's copy everything from the input and paste over here now let's see okay we did it now let's uh, remove this uh, resize uh, option also so to do that uh, write resize that is none now let's see uh, now i cannot resize this one so let's refresh this one okay we have no any uh, resize uh, component here so now let's uh, uh, design this button so for this i have a id of btn and then i will give a background color that is sky blue and i will increase some okay i think this is okay now i will save this one and see we have the button here now i will uh, name the color sorry i will give the color that is white okay i think this is okay now uh, these two forms look somehow similar so now i our work is done so let's see whether it is responsive or not and if it is not responsive then we will make it responsive too so right click inspect okay we have to do nothing for responsive so our work is done i will provide the source code of this uh, contact form in the description below and so for your information i want to say that i have uh, created uh, our website that is alivecoder.com here in this website you will find the source code of every uh, projects and in fact uh, the source code of uh, this one also uh, available here so please uh, kindly visit alivecoder.com and then download source code so if you guys like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe see you on next video bye bye